Hello friends, welcome back to the Linen Closet. Thanks for joining me again. We're at a little different angle today. We're um, going to take a look at some stemware that I have and uh, talk about that a little bit and share that with you. Uh, while I have a dram I've been working on of Macallan 18 year, one of my favorite whiskeys. Mm, mm, mm. I did a review earlier on this candied fruit. So good. So this is, uh, I've got, you know, Glenn Carnes in my uh, kitchen cabinet, but I have this cabinet here of some of the glassware and stemware that, that I enjoy and I do sometimes like to pair my stemware with whiskey and I just find the whole experience enjoyable and sharing that with others and um, you know like I hunt for whiskey bottles now and then I'll see if I can find some cool stemware and when I'm out somewhere and I see something cool I pick it up and you know try to find a deal and some of them are very inexpensive and some not so much but this cabinet when I first started uh, collecting whiskey, um, held my bourbons actually, uh, I started with one small cabinet, but I've outgrown that since a few added to those. This cabinet I found on Craigslist in the antique section, and it was perfect at the time for what I needed. This was an heirloom of uh, this lady that was uh, really moving out of the state and this was in her garage and she was emptying everything out and she was telling me that this has been in her family since the 40s or 50s. It's really nice beveled glass around here. It's all mahogany solid wood. The backing is mahogany solid wood. Um, it was an, a really good deal. I think I may have paid $60 for this on Craigslist. It's got a drawer at the bottom. I don't think you can, you might be able to see that. But in any case, we're going to talk about uh, some of these glasses that I have. Really nice cabinet. Let's look at this glass first. Some of you may recognize this. It's kind of a unique glass. It's kind of like a Glen Kern inside a tumbler. And um, if you don't know, this is called a Norlin glass. I've got two of them. Um, they're they they they're very light. They feel like plastic, but it's not. It's all glass. Um, the thing about this glass, it's got these fins inside that's supposed to uh, allow you to aerate the whiskey much faster and bring the aromatics to the surface. I, I didn't find that big a difference. The thing about it though, I don't think it concentrates the nose enough. And the lip up here is very thick. It is, uh, when you're used to Glen Carn or tumblers, it's, uh, I actually dribbled down my chin with this thing. I, I've only used this a few times. I'm not that thrilled with this glass. This Norlin glass sells for around $48 for two of them. Um, the prices that I tell you don't include shipping, unless I know what they do, but uh, yeah, I've got a couple of these Glen Kern, I mean these, uh, sorry, Norlin glasses. Um, behind that, my poker chip, I mean my uh, cue ball chip, this is a neat glass. You've probably heard of these as well. It's got a big uh, um, bowl to it, um, which would, you think, um, it's good for swirling as long as you don't put too much in it, but the problem with this glass is it's abnormally large on the top. And again, it really doesn't fit right when you're um, taking your whiskey in. The way it enters your mouth and coats your tongue is, it's 
just not comfortable. And really it's hard to nose with this wide rim glass. It didn't, all the hype to these neat glasses really didn't, I don't believe, are that good. The, this glass sells for $20 for two. And I got these early on because there was so much hype, but really I've only used them a couple times. And uh, really don't like the glass too much. Pour yourself a dram. What else do we have here? Um, I picked up a lot of these. There's, there's, I don't know who makes this, but it's a nosing glass. It's a little shorter. It's nice for small drams. Um, any nosing glass with the tulip kind of body and concentrated uh, opening is going to help really con uh, bring those aromatics to your nose. And this is just a typical nosing glass. Uh, inexpensive, probably $5 at some liquor store I found it at. It could have been at a garage sale even. Um, here we have, well, that's probably the same nosing glass. This is a Glen Kern that uh, you may notice I have a rat that's on my logo. This is my whiskey rat. Um, early on, years ago, when I first, uh, before I was the whiskey hunter, uh, I decided to use this on a glass, and since then I've kind of used it as my logo. It's my uh, whiskey rat. So I had that carved on the glass. Some company did. I think you paid eighteen dollars for the Glen Carn, and and with whatever you wanted to put on it, they you just send them the artwork and they etch it on. Um, let's put that back. Now this next glass. This next glass, there's two of them. This comes from a bartender at Morton Steakhouse. So I was having dinner at the bar with a buddy. This is an Anaheim. And uh, this is a uh, Riedel manufacturer of this glass but they make these for Louis the 13th Louis Trey cognac this is a cognac glass and this was up on the shelf with the Louis Trey and I got him to I had been looking for this glass for a long time once I saw it at a different bar and so I got him to sell it to me and these come with the bottle of Louis Trey if you know anything about that cognac, it's ridiculously expensive. Um, I'm not sure what these glass... Oh, yeah, you know, I think these glasses sell for, without, um, you know, this logo or etching, around $59 for two. Um, I don't exactly remember what I paid, but I thought it was pretty damn cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any Louis Trey to put in that, in that glass. So I've had it before. The price of Louis the Thirteenth is upwards to three to four thousand dollars now. I remember twenty years ago when it was only twelve hundred. I know, cheap, huh? This glass is what I typically use in most of my reviews. This is my well, next to the new glass I just got, my favorite nosing glass and tasting glass. This is an Ice Janice whiskey nosing glass. It's crystal, it's fragile, it is expensive, but it is an unbelievable glass. The top is flared a little bit out, and uh, up until recently, it's the best nosing glass I've, I've uh, had. Like I said, it's from Germany. You can find these online at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and on uh, Amazon, but they're very expensive on Amazon when I price them. They do run about $170 for two of them at Bed Bath & Beyond. And on Amazon, I saw it 
earlier today checking the price for 259 or something I paid a lot less than both of those prices and you can see the Aish logo right there there are takeoffs this is a real one it's a really nice glass I like to pair these with different um, expressions it's just fun especially when you have friends over all right let's put these glasses back and go to the next level of glasses okay all right so let's look at our next tier of glasses all right this glass is unusual I may have used this in a review early on I found this off Craigslist from an elderly couple a pair of them this is a, a 1960s Baccarat Thistle Brandy Glass from the 60s it does say Baccarat on the bottom um, it's pretty neat. It noses pretty well, even though it's kind of flared at the top. The bulbous body um, works well. And as the aromas come up, you do got to get your nose in there, even though it flares up because of how it narrows and tape, well, how it tapers in the middle. It does a nice job on the aromatics. It's a real neat glass. And they have two of those. This next glass is a, uh, oh, what's the name of it? A, uh, ah, Spiegelo. It's got a pretty cool shape. Um, it's a Spiegelo Willsberger Anniversary Whiskey Glass. They sell, they're not that expensive. They sell for $52 for four of them. As a matter of fact, this is the box they come in and uh, pretty cool they're from um, Germany as well crystal this holds 12 ounces that is a lot of whiskey to put in your glass I don't use them that often because I'm typically not pouring six or eight ounces at a time um yeah Spiegelo this next glass is a grappa glass that I actually found on eBay one night really uh, cheap can't uh, it's a few years ago I can't remember exactly what I spent but I know it wasn't a lot it's kind of neat in the design there uh, even though it's a grappa glass, it's I still have fun with it. I I don't I, I don't think I've ever tasted grappa, but uh, this is from the 80s, and like I said, I picked that up on eBay. There were three of them. This is another grappa glass. This is um, a Mikasa Venetian pearl grappa from 1998. It's got a really neat uh, pearl stem. Again, the bulbous body helps uh, helps with their aromatics. It noses pretty well, actually. I think that that again was from eBay. Actually, I bought both of those the same night on eBay. I've been drinking probably one too many drams when I uh, bought these. Fortunately, they were cheap when I realized what I did the next day. All right. And three of those also came with that purchase. This, and let me say that this is the, uh, I should have showed you this earlier. This is the Norlin tube that the glasses come in. They're really nice. The tube is much nicer than the glass, in my opinion. It's almost like a vinyl, vinyl tube. Two hand-blown, double-walled, 
drinking glasses. So um, this is a 70s Old Crow water pitcher. Um, I, you know what? I don't remember where I found this. Don't remember if it was at a store or it was a number of years ago, but it's pretty cool. And um, when I do have people over, I'll put water in it and and use it to uh, for people can use it in their uh, whiskey. Neat, huh? Okay, let's put that back. Now, let's go down to the bottom shelf. So, <clears throat> this is a um, Waterford glass. It's a Lismore Whiskey uh, Tasting Footed Tumbler is how they describe it. It's, um, it's very heavy. Uh, again, it's crystal. It's really a beautiful glass. It's, um, you know, as far as it's, it's a typical tumbler. Um, it's just neat to drink out of. It's not the best nosing glass, but it's really nice uh, when company's over and just setting out glasses for people to choose what they want to drink from. That came in this container. Uh, nothing real special about the presentation box, but, you know, nice. This is a foam, a black foam uh, insert to protect the glasses. These glasses ran $100 a pair. They're, it's Waterford. Waterford's never cheap. All right. This glass is a Glencairn, but it's from a group I'm in called the... Uh, Whiskey Bourbon Scotch Enthusiast, WBSE, really cool logo, and uh, our group had this made. Scott might get my Scotch Addicts group to, to uh, have a glass, get one of those for all my members there. So that's that's a Glen Carn. Glen Carn glasses are typically like seven, eight, nine dollars. You get them etched, you pay around $14, $15. Um, let's see what else we have here. Let's put this grappa glass back. So this is a Luigi Bormiali Vintique Snifter. This is very similar to the Eich nosing glass but it's not uh it's a copy of it you know it's um it sounds like crystal it's very inexpensive i'm seeing more and more people use these in their uh, youtube channels for tasting it is a nice glass it's a very um cost a cost conscious glass it's only 35 dollars for six of the glasses, which you know, you compare to the ice, which is what 175 to 250, you think they're you might even mistake them for the same glass. Um, really nice, really great value. You can find them on Amazon around 35 38 dollars for six of them. This is this I used in my last review this is uh, this comes in this box and this is really neat it is very fragile these uh these thin stems I mean even cleaning them they are um, w w uh, dishwasher safe I tend to hand clean all my uh, these glasses. Very fragile, easy to crack if you squeeze too hard. 
This is a 1920s professional blenders glass. It's a replica of the 20s blenders glasses they used back then. I, I don't think you could find a real one. I don't think there's any left. There's only one company I know that makes these. It's called Specialty Drinks LTD out of London. These are available at uh, the Whiskey Exchange, TWE. These sell for um, $52 for a pair plus shipping. If you only ship these from London and you're in the United States, you're going to spend another $40 on shipping. So you may want to see about buying some bottles and, and getting a group, you know, a purchase to lower your shipping. But this was, this was a great nosing and tasting glass. The big bulb, and it's a short uh, top, you know, typically you know, as you compare kind of the Glen Cairn, it's narrow, the taper is much longer. This is a short taper, but it really concentrates the nose. It was a little unusual um, tasting out of it as I had to really pour, tilt the glass way back, but it's a, it's a new glass, so I just wasn't used to it. But certainly as I use it more, it'll become more comfortable and uh, really a great nosing glass and really neat looking, very unusual. If you can afford it, I'd pick one of these up. Be very, very careful with it. Mm -mm. We also have, let's see here. And by the way, this is the ice tube. The ice glasses come in, glasses, glasses is really well packed nice presentation tube that's that so this i think i'm the only one in the united states that has this water jug this is from the highland park appreciation society which is start started out of denmark that i'm a member of uh, they sent me this uh, water jug and so um, that along with my old crow jug we set out when we have uh, people over or I have people over. This is a uh, a water um, dropper, whiskey water dropper. It's made by Angel Share. You can Google that and order from them. You can probably find it on Amazon. It kind of is the same philosophy of a straw. If you put your finger over the top of a straw and put it in water, the vacuum uh, takes water up in it. And as you release your finger, it drops it in. It's the same with this. There's a little hole in the side. When you release your finger, it puts the drop of water in. It's a pot still on top. They come as an angel or other, other uh, blown uh, toppers on it. It's pretty neat. You may have seen some other people uh, with this. This, I don't, I think this sells for like $30. It's not that bad. It comes in uh, this container. So it's, uh, it's nicer than using a straw. Of course, you can just use a spoon if you really want to uh, just put a drop or two in. When you pour directly from here, it's easy to accidentally put too much water in. So that is some of my stemware. Oh, this, this is a nice presentation. This looks like leather. It's not. These are Glencairn glasses. This was uh, sent to me by Whiskey Advocate magazine that puts on the Whiskey Fest when I went there in 2015. These are etched glasses that uh, weren't, they weren't just handed out. Um, I think the VIPs got them that year. If you had a VIP ticket. Uh, you know, nice Glen Carnes. And they come in this nice presentation. Just your typical Glen Carn glass, but nice etching. And I think that's about 
it for these glasses. So that's some of my stemware that I have. Um, I appreciate you guys joining me. Please subscribe, share, and like if you enjoyed this video. Below uh, you can see a link to my blog and Instagram where I post pictures and do commentary on the blog. Thanks again. Have a good night. I'll see you next time when we review something and talk about another hunt. You guys have a great night.